y'all we're over here in Alabama now for a customer that we uh, did a retainer wall for probably I don't know eight ten years ago not quite sure but now they've got another problem with the uh, retainer wall on the other side of the property old wooden retainer wall we're gonna take out replace it with a uh, properly treated type wooden wall and we're gonna be using some 12 foot pilings uh, 10 foot boards try to elevate the property here get the yard leveled off for them getting all the uh, stuff moved out of the way now so we can access everything back here with the tractor I'll keep posting videos and pictures as we go along. You can barely see the wood wall. It's all overgrown with grass and uh, vines right now, but these stairs and arbor, all this stuff is going to come out. Going to build a uh, wood retainer wall in this area right here. This is quite, quite a bluff that we're working on right here. There's already about a 13 foot high a vinyl retainer wall installed in front of it. Then down lower, there's aluminum wall. Then we're going to come down here and rebuild the dock and the uh, boathouse and stuff out there also. Also going to be building a, a new set of stairs for access down to the water with a set of stairs off the dock so they can actually access the water. The demo has begun. Getting all the uh, azaleas relocated on the side over here. All the, the old fence tore down, making an easy access road so we can get our equipment back here to the back. All right, we've got a lot of the dirt removed, getting ready to start digging out to install the uh, new retainer wall on the hillside here. One of the benefits of working on the water, we got a Blue Angel show going on over there right now. Day three on our job. Getting an early morning start over here. We got a lot of the retainer wall in, the pilings in. Got to figure, finish up a little bit more of that, then uh, start putting the uh, tieback system in the backfill. Hopefully, have that all completed by today. Some of the beautiful scenery we get to see when we get started early in the mornings. I want to see Dudley get back out of there.
10 foot bulkhead boards being installed. About a 22 foot bluff for having to dig them in. for the tie back anchors now that is a six inch by eight foot long piling with double two foot drag plates on the front of it got a big large stainless steel square washer on the back side with a uh, heavy duty stainless steel nut five eighths type 316 stainless steel rod going all the way through the front of the wall to another square washer nut on the piling side Tie backs installed. Now we're installing the uh, 2 by 12 top cap. I'm going to finish out the wall, make it look a lot better. purpose and outlasted its time. I get those removed and build a, a set of stairs in the exact same spot. Stainless steel hardware, all treated over. We got the top section of stairs in with handrails. Got the first mid-level landing done with the handrails. We got three, two sections done of steps with two landings and working on the uh, third landing. One more landing and set of stairs and we're down to the bottom. Demo has started on the old dock. We're going to remove all the decking, the framing, reframe the dock, new decking, stainless steel hardware. We're just about coming to completion on our stairs, just about got them wrapped up. One more landing and a boardwalk over to the, uh, to the dock.
Decking. We got all the decking tore off the dock. All we gotta do is remove the framing. Got a little boardwalk made to the dock. Got the stairs all the way down. Just gotta finish up a couple more of the pickets on there. We'll have that portion of the job completed. The old framing removed from the dock. Now the barge is loaded. Headed to the boat ramp to unload all the trash. And then off to the next job. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on the conclusion of this project. I'll post a video next week. Done with the track over here. Now load it up, take it to the next project.